Welcome to the Dynamic Radiologist Podcast, where we feature leading experts in healthcare. And now here's your host, Dr. Stephen Brownstein. Hello, Dr. Stephen Brownstein here, and I am the host of the Dynamic Radiologist Podcast. Through this platform, I have the great honor to interview top leaders in health and in business to discuss what they are doing to change the world. Some of the amazing guests I've interviewed include Dr. Jeffrey Cronk, CEO of Spinal Kinetics, Smart Injury Doctors, and Smart Injury Lawyers, Dr. Mike Carberry, CEO of Advanced Medical Integration, Dr. Donald DeFabio, and Howard Reese, CEO of the Teledentist. This episode is brought to you by, by Dynamic Medical Imaging. I started this organization 16 years ago and have experienced consistent growth and opportunity ever since. We have the only Phonar upright MRI in central and northern, northern New Jersey. We've had people consistently coming to our center from over 20 miles away. Over 25% of our patients are either claustrophobic or have failed to have their MRIs completed in a closed unit. They have come here to have their studies performed in the Phonar upright open MRI. We've had over 3,000 doctors from New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania refer their patients to us. What is really telling, though, is that those same doctors who've referred their family and friends have come here themselves to have their own studies performed. Please check out our testimonial comments and interviews on our website, www.dynamicmedicalimaging.com, and see for yourself what your fellow patients have said about their great experiences at Dynamic Medical Imaging. Our second sponsor today is uh, Spinal uh, Kinetics, a company that I started over 10 years ago. We help providers of all specialties evaluate for the presence, location, and severity of spinal ligament injuries. If you do stress radiographs in any format, you can send them to our trained doctors who use our special technology. Spinal Kinetics developed a technology called CRMA, or Computerized Radiographic Menstruation Analysis, which is an advanced x-ray measurement technology to accurately measure the exact abnormal motion problems that occur with spinal ligament injuries. If you have any questions, go to www.thespinalkinetics.com or email us at support at thespinalkinetics.com. Today, I have the great fortune to have my good friend, Dr. Richard Wolf, uh, on the other side of this uh, camera. And uh, Rich uh, graduated from Pennsylvania College of Chiropractic in 1984 and has been practicing for over 36 years. Uh, he has a great practice in Maplewood, New Jersey. that has some modalities that I've never heard of, and uh, you'll, you'll be hearing about that as we go through this uh, interview. Rich, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I, I always ask my chiropractic friends, and usually it's one of two stories, why they became a chiropractor. And usually it's either a family member or friend, or they had their own uh, episode where chiropractors actually helped them. So what's, what's your story? When I was probably 10 or 11 or 12, my mom brought me to a chiropractor in Brooklyn and it probably triggered something. I don't remember exactly what, but um, as I got older, um, the holistic healing, the all natural healing arena was really interesting to me. And I actually thought I, I was going to look into uh, holistic pediatrics and then the more I looked into the holistic chiropractic end and all the other opportunities that were there for healing, I ended up in that direction. So, and how'd you end up in New Jersey? Um, had a, <laughs> there, was, there was a practice opportunity to share space many years ago, and uh, I made the move. And Never then I discovered how lovely New Jersey is, all the, the skiing and the water and the beaches. And, no, it's... Uh... I've been uh, New Jersey born and bred and trained, and uh, I'm a true Jersey Jersey boy. So, you know, you, you have a number of different uh, modalities in your practice. You know, what, what do you want to discuss first that people may not know and it gives the greatest benefit to most people? Well, I think the, the holistic perspective of chiropractic, many people think that chiropractic, there's misconceptions and they kind of think that the chiropractor kind of lays the person down and just quote, quote cracks their back. For us, there's, it, there's a very clinical evaluation 
of a person's health history, their symptoms, conditions, diseases. The examination is looking at their posture, how they're moving, how the muscles balance, um, how they walk, things like that. And then the x-rays we do are standing and weight-bearing, and we, ask, we have the patient moving. Ultimately, the patient comes back for what we call a report of findings, where they get to see what's wrong. When the spine isn't moving properly, and it happens to everyone because gravity's pulling on us and we're moving all day, the spine will misalign and lock out of place. And I want them to see where those problems are. And that's correlating to nervous system compression. And then that correlates to joint compression in the spine. And then muscles will go out of balance into what we call pain or trigger points. And then you can look at symptoms from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet. So that's where we start. And then we build in a program for our patients that not only has spinal balancing and aligning, decompressing the spine and balancing muscles, but other modalities, as you mentioned, to help for circulation, healing, blood flow, anti-aging, and things of that nature. So one of the modalities you have is whole body vibration technology. You want to explain that? So this has been around for a while. It's the patient is standing on a platform and holding two bars, and we can set the vibration level differently depending on the patient. If they have knee problems, hip or back problems, we would set it lower. For other patients, we will set it higher. In fact, for me, I'll go as high as it, as it goes. What the vibrations are doing is they're increasing circulation. It actually helps for fat loss. Um, it increases blood flow, and it actually helps strengthen tendons, ligaments, joints, it, and it also increases uh, bone density. So the patients love it. And it's actually in, in 10 minutes, you get a really a good workout actually. There's a lot of studies and research on whole body vibration. It's been real successful with us. And as I said, people just love standing on that thing. Yeah, I remember uh, one of the chiropractors in Westfield had, had it. And I think before I went on, he asked me to touch my toes and it was a little bit difficult. So he put me on the vibration device and after that, it was like I was 10 years old again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was truly amazing. So, you know, I know it, it does work and uh, has many different applications. So one of the other things uh, that people may know about, but how do you use laser therapy in, in your practice? So we have what's called a warm laser and patients really love it because of the warmth, the feeling of um, it helps muscles relax. It helps joints relax. And we use that for so many different patients. It could be for neck pain or back pain, elbow pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, foot pain. We've used it on sinuses. We've used it for menstrual cramps. And what happens is the light of the laser is going into the cells of the body. And the cells of the body have a, a, what's called an organelle. It's called a mitochondria, as you well know. And the mitochondria produces energy. So the light is actually absorbed by proteins in the mitochondria called chromophores. And when the, the light is absorbed, now the mitochondria can produce more energy in the form of ATP. So more energy, more healing. And then the, uh, the mitochondria help the body decrease uh, toxicity. We're bringing more oxygen to the area for healing. And then there's also just that warmth that just warms up muscles and helps people feel relaxed um, and comfortable. So we've used it for so many different things, even TMJ. So it's been very successful with us. And how, how is the warm laser different from cold laser? You know, people have heard of you know, cold laser therapy. Um, how is the warm laser different? So the warm laser, we have actually what's called a class four laser, and it, you do feel the warmth. We can set the settings to be as a, at a cold laser, so our laser goes up to 30 watts. And if we set it, let's say, between three and five or seven watts, it's lower intensity. And there are some studies that support both cold laser and warm laser, um, depending on who you speak to, depending on what research you speak to. There are some uh, researchers that say that the, the lower level of watts, where the person does not feel the warmth, is stimulating the mitochondria differently. But there are many, many studies on warm laser as well. So that's what we have found really has just not only works really well clinically for all kinds of joint healing, musculoskeletal healing, but the patients just love it. 
Just love the relaxation feeling of that warmth. So what's uh, myofascial therapy for pain relief and musculoskeletal balancing? So we have a number of ways we address myofascial imbalances. When we're moving all day long with gravity pulling on us, as I mentioned earlier, the spine will misalign and lock. And then again, we see that on, on the standing moving x-rays. But you classically in everyone, including children, will have a lot of muscle imbalance. So as we, part of the exam is feeling for or palpating for by me, where those muscles are out of balance, where there are what some people will call knots. And there are many ways to relax those knots, balance the muscles. One way is by hand using pressure and systems that, you know, we're using the hand, using release techniques. We have acupuncture, which also is wonderful for releasing the muscle knots and the muscle imbalance. And then we have a, a machine called a rapid release, which people love, patients love this. It's a deep tissue vibration that really gets into the muscles and the fascia. Muscles have fascia in them, as you well know. So fascia is kind of like rubber bands. And really what's contracting more than the muscle is the fascia. So if you think of the muscles having these flat rubber bands that are contracted from over usage, we have to release those. And not only will they cause local pain, but the knots that are in those muscles and fascia will refer pain. So for example, in this muscle up here, called the upper trapezius, that will refer pain right into the jaw, right up to the temporal region. And oftentimes a person might think they're having TMJ problems when in fact it's the trap referring up. So we wanna work on those muscles of the body that are correlating not only to the symptoms, the person's having, but, but look beyond that holistically, because we want to look at not only the symptom area, but the whole body. So balancing those muscles and aligning the spine are really going to help for pain relief, typically. So acoustic pay, uh, pulse wave therapy for pain relief. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, the, the machine is pretty amazing. Um, it, it's actually all over professional sports now, including in the NFL. The studies and research on acoustic pulse wave therapy has really been extensive. It's kind of exploding all over. So we have a machine and it has a um, kind of a wand and it's typically for musculoskeletal pain and the wand will go tick, 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 tick. And the patient will tell us, yes, that hurts. And then I hold it there. What that's doing is it's putting out a cone of sound that actually draws in stem cells for the body's own healing. Stem cells are the cells that we are born with in different tissues that help the body heal itself. And so the cone goes out, the stem cells come in, it actually oxygenates the body, decreases uh, toxicity. And we found tremendous results with shoulder pain, wrist pain, elbow pain, foot pain, plantar fasciitis responds beautifully to this, um, spinal pain, back pain, shoulder, we use it musculoskeletally wherever the person is having problems. And a lot, again, on those, those muscles that are really tight and knotted up. So one of the things that you're really uh, informed about and use a lot in your practice is nutritional supplements. Yes. And you, you want to tell us, uh, you know, how you got into uh, that being one of your expertise and, and how it, it's integrated within your practice? How I got into it, I don't remember. Um, it just became part of the natural process of the holistic practice. I think over the years, as the nutritional companies have gotten more advanced in their research, and, and many of them have phenomenal advanced researchers, biochemists and physicists looking for in the lab what correlates to human cellular health. And over the years, there are many, with all these you know, companies doing the research, we were able to, whether going to conferences or looking online or whatever way we've looked in endless directions for how to connect with these companies and just bring in their products. So the goal really is to help people, help our patients get well, not just get out of pain, but increase wellness so that their life extension is longer that they're happier and healthier now and in their future. The human body needs health, needs support nutritionally on a cellular level. 
And just eating a good diet doesn't work. People don't know what to eat. In fact, there are many foods that, that we think are good for us, are really bad for us. For example, tomatoes and eggplant. So when we supplement, we're giving the cells of the body, if we supplement the right way, the right products in the right amounts, we're giving the cells the opportunity to regenerate, heal, and detoxify. And I did want to add that the key, one of the keys to our health, the human health, is the gut. We need to support the gut lining with what's called probiotics, which are the healthy cells that line the gut wall. We need to support those probiotics with prebiotics. And enzymes are crucial as we get older. So we try to get people started on at least those three because the gut ties into all aspects of our health, including brain health. And I was recently at a conference where the researcher said, and I'll quote him, if the brain is on fire, there are brain health issues, then the gut is on fire. And if the gut is on fire and you're not digesting your food properly and you're feeling gas after you eat and you're constipated, then the brain is on fire. There's a direct neurological connection between the gut and the brain. So there's a lot of other aspects of nutritional health we work on with patients. I am personally for myself supplementing frequently during the day. I want to stay active, hopefully, uh, you know, long time in practice, a lot of sports working out and just dealing with emotional stress and the times that we're in now, we really need to supplement properly and be as healthy as possible. So that's the perspective. And when people have specific issues, we want to address that as well with the nutrition. So you came by my office today and let me get it. Because I think, yes. Okay. That's so the title is, please don't read this book. Yes. But if people wanted to read this book, how could they get a copy and how can they get hold of you? So all they have to do is call our office. We're in Maplewood, Dr. Richard Wolf, 1795 Springfield Avenue in Maplewood. Or you can call the office at 973-761-5060. The book is really... It's very light reading, but we give it to prospective patients or patients that will tell us they have someone they'd like to refer just to get a quick overview of the practice. There's nothing really heavily clinical in there. There's also a, a CD in the back that you can pop into your computer and listen to testimonials because we found the best way to let people know about what we do is not by us telling them, it's by other patients telling them. So... A referred patient is the best patient. I'm sorry? A referred patient is the best patient. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And uh, so um, anything else you, that we didn't cover that you think is important for patients uh, to know about you and your practice? You know, I think it's, we're a mind, body, and spirit. And it's important. I'm very big on uh, meditation. Meditation is really important to, to relax mind and body. It literally alters brain chemistry, body chemistry, to be able to slow down the thinking just through breathing. It's really simple to do. Um, I've taught it for many years. In fact, we had a new patient the other day who's coming off some family deaths through COVID. Uh, also, she had cancer herself and she's felt so much stress just on the consultation. And within a minute or so, I just showed her how to sit and how to breathe. So meditation, with, or you, if you pray prayer, we're doing something to slow down the body function and the mind function during these really tough times. Holistic healing, not only is what I do, but I mean, I just so believe the human body needs to be balanced and well and whole. And then uh, alkaline water is really important that we're drinking the right water. Um, it needs to come from a machine. It needs to be in glass. We give this to all of our patients to help the body stay well, healthy. It's antiviral and it keeps us uh, detoxifying. That's great, Rich. So um, it's truly been a pleasure to sit down with you and, and chat. And I can vouch Rich is one of the best docs out there and he truly cares about his patients. And he's a, he's a mensch, he's, he's one of the good guys out there and uh, I'm blessed to have you as a friend, Rich. Uh, well, thank, thank you, Dr. Steve. Okay, talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in to the Dynamic Radiologist podcast. Make sure to click subscribe to get updates on our latest episodes.